हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज योर फेवरेट मूर्ति एंड वी हैव अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक टुडे टुडे वी विल सी अकॉर्डिंग टू आवर मेडिकल एक्सपर्ट जाकिर नाइक इफ यू ईट समथिंग यू बिहेव लाइक दैट थिंग सो लेट्स गो टू जाकिर नाइक फर्स्ट Yes, and there is a scientific thing that you eat pig and you behave like pig. You yeah. eat pig and you behave like pig. Eat pig and you behave like pig. And there is a scientific thing that you eat pig and you behave like pig. Eat pig and you behave like pig. Eat pig and you behave like pig. Thank you, medical doctor. Clapping. By this logic, you eat donkey, you behave like donkey. we eat donkey we behave like donkey if we eat donkey we behave like donkey so here you go this is the hadith from sahihul bukhari 5407 muhammad and his followers ate donkey and they probably really loved the meat because muhammad ate all the meat to the bones let's see narrated by abu qutayda so is even in this hadith we will see that once upon a time while he was sitting with the companions of the prophet in a station on a road to makka and a messenger was stationed ahead of them so they were like there was some distance between the two all the people were assuming ihram while i was not so this guy was not wearing ihram but the rest of them were because during ihram you are not supposed to do the hunting of the animal so this guy wasn't in ihram my companion saw what you know the problem with uh, most of these people are they don't translate the things right but anyhow they want to hide onager or onagar depending on how you actually read it so onagar or onager means wild donkey it means what wild donkeys so they saw a wild donkey while i was busy mending my shoes they did not inform me of onager but they wished i would have seen it because they wanted to eat it but they cannot do the um, hunting by themselves so they wanted to make him see the donkey suddenly i looked and saw the onager the wild donkey then i had it towards my horse saddled it rode it but i forgot to take the lashes and spear so i said to my companions give me the lashes and spear but they did not they said no by allah we will not help you in the way to hunt it because hunting is haram during ihram i got angry dismounted took it it the spear and the lash rode wounded the horse chased the onager and wounded it then i brought it when it had dried my companion started eating it cooked uh, the arabic doesn't say cook but yeah obviously they have to cook it they were not they were not like uh, raw meat eaters they were good people they cook it they started eating its meat but they suspected that it might be unlawful to eat its meat while they were in the state of ihram so it's not that they were not supposed to eat the wild donkey because it is a hunted animal and they are eating it during ihram then i proceeded further and i cupped one of its four leg means the shoulder and the leg the front leg of the wild donkey with me when we met allah's apostle we asked him about that he said have you some of its meat with you i gave him the four leg and he ate the meat till he stripped the bones of its flesh although he was in the state of ihram so in the state of ihram you can eat meat that's fine you can eat hunted meat if you have not hunted it that's fine but the thing is what were they eating they were eating wild donkey let me show you how it looks like it looks like first of all look an animal of a race of the asian wild ass 
native to northern Iran. So an Asian donkey. That's how it looks like. That's a nice little donkey. That's what they ate. Oh my, it's so cute. But anyhow, they ate it. We see the same hadith with a little bit of a twist in Sahih al-Bukhari 2570. Narrated by Abdullah bin Abu Qutayda. And what does it say? Same thing. They saw an honor. He rode it, attacked it, then they ate it. But they doubted whether it was allowed for them to eat it or not, as they were in the state of Ehram. So they preceded it. I hid with me one of its four legs, so one of its shoulder, the front leg. When we met Allah Messenger and asked him about the case, he asked, Do you have a portion of it with you? I replied in affirmative and gave him that fleshly foreleg which he ate completely while he was in the state of Aram. Clapping! You eat donkey, you behave like donkey. You eat donkey, you behave like donkey. That's what Zakir Naik said. So per Zakir Naik, thank you Mr. Zakir Naik. Let me play you once again. Uh -huh. And there is a scientific thing that you eat pig and you behave like pig. Eat pig and you behave like pig. Eat pig and you behave like pig. And there is a scientific thing that you eat pig and you behave like pig. Eat pig and you behave like pig. Eat pig and you behave like pig. And they thank you, medical doctor, for telling us. And now we know. Why these people behave like a donkey? You eat pig, you behave like pig. You eat donkey, you behave like donkey. Thank you, Mr. Zakenaik. And by the way, just an FYI, in Pakistan, people are selling donkey meat. And they are being caught by multiple uh, police and everyone. So what is happening is that the Pakistani government are asking the muftis, hey muftis, tell us. Can we eat donkey meat? And then this happened. A-R-Y-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T-V-T